Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to put together the Runt Rover Junior. This kit has a couple of screws, but all you'll need to put it together is a Phillips head screwdriver. For the first step, we're going to attach our motors to the side plates. In order to do this, we'll take our wires and feed them through these square holes in the plates, and then stick the output shaft through this hole here on the outside. Next, take your screws and feed them through the holes in your motor, and then through the ABS. Screw those in place, and then we'll take the nut that comes with your screws and feed that on. And then I'll go ahead and take my screwdriver and just make sure that I got it nice and tight. Do this for all four of your motors on all four sides. Go ahead when you put your motors on and make sure that they're on the rough side of your ABS plate. Now this is really the only time-consuming part of the project, but if you know how to use a computer, then you can get it done really fast. Kind of like that. Now, um, if you can't use special effects, you can go ahead and pause it here because I'm getting ready to move on to the next step. Um, but once you get your motors attached, to your side plates, we're going to go ahead and we'll snap these into the rough side of this bottom plate here. Snap these in and make sure that your motors are facing out towards the outside of the plate. There's, they're symmetrical so there's no front or back of the side plates so it really doesn't matter how you snap those in. Once you have that together, you'll take the uh, circle plate here and again um, the plates basically it's kind of up to you which side you put it in but you can put it into either one uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and snap it into this side again snapping it in so that the rough side of the ABS is facing out uh, the next step is to take your top plate and snap it in now again you can kind of set this up however you want um, Right here is it's got as a hole for a servo. You need a hole here so that you can kind of you know access a battery pack or anything like that. So you snap that in really just, just kind of depends on how you're going to be doing your project. I'm just going to go ahead and line the holes up on the same side, um, and then just one at a time line up your snaps and snap them in. Once you have that together, the last step is to slide your wheels onto the output shafts of each of your motors. And it's really just as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy your Runt Rover.